Hey, I'm Autumn Calabrese. And I'm her brother, Bobby Calabrese. And this is Fixie. Perfect portions, delicious food, healthy weight loss. Hey guys, welcome to Fixate Foundational. Today we are talking containers 101. You got portion fix or 21 day fix and you got your pretty little color coded containers and now you're like, what do I do with these things? Where did they come from? Let's start with where they came from. So as a personal trainer, I had a lot of clients that I'd kick their butts in the gym and we would talk about nutrition. And for some reason, they just weren't seeing the results that I wanted them to see. I took one of them out to lunch one day. We both ordered salads. They were very large salads. My client finished all of hers when I ate a half of mine. And I looked at her and I said, that's our problem right there. And she said, what? And I said, you just overate. And she said, yeah, but it's just a salad. And I was like, mm, it's not just a salad. So let me show you actually what I was talking about. This is the actual salad that we had that day. I'm telling you, it is packed into this container. You have multiple greens in there for your lettuce and your tomatoes. There's probably at least three blue containers in there of your cheese and your avocado. I God only knows how many yellows are in here because there's pasta and croutons and bread, there's chicken, which is your red, there's all of this salad dressing, which is your orange. So you've probably got all of your containers for a day in one salad. If you eat all of this at lunch, you've definitely overeaten for the day. So let's just put this off to the side for a split second. Now that you know the salad story and how the containers came to be, let's talk about how you're really gonna use these in your everyday life. You either got portion fix or 21 day fix, one way or the other, you got a book and some containers that came with it. Now, let me just say this really quick for anybody who uh, is using Beachbody On Demand, our guidebooks are on there as well, so you can always print these guidebooks out and reference them. In fact, you need to reference them. So, we have our containers, we have our guidebook. The very first thing I want you to do is go to your calculation page. This is super easy. This is not a big math project. You're gonna do this 10 second calculation. It's going to tell you what calorie range you fall into. This is important because the calorie ranges are gonna tell you how many times a day you get to fill your containers. I fall into plan B. So I'm gonna have four greens a day, three purples, four reds, three yellows, one blue, and one orange. So what do all these containers represent? Let's talk about it. Your purple is your fruit. Your green is your vegetables. Red is protein. Yellow is carbohydrates. Blue is healthy fats. And your orange is seeds and salad dressings. And then you also get teaspoons for things like nut butters and oils. The 21 Day Fix doesn't come with a teaspoon, so just use one that you have at home, okay? You can mix and match these any way you see fit. That's the beauty of it. I am not telling you what you have to eat. You can pick whatever you want. For breakfast, you can be like, I want eggs with some spinach and some oatmeal. That's a red, a green, and yellow, okay? And then what do you do after you do your red, your green, and your yellow? You need to go to your tally sheet and you need to mark off a red, a green, and a yellow so you know how many you have left for the day. So, the other thing you should know about the food list is they go in a hierarchy. What does that mean? That means the foods listed at the top of those lists are the best of the best that you could be eating from that list. And as you work your way down, you're getting the foods that you can absolutely still have, but maybe you don't have them every day. So let me give you an example. If we go to our yellow list, sweet potatoes, top of the list, amazing, Vitamins, minerals, fantastic for you. What's at the bottom of the list? Corn tortillas. You can still have them. Don't have them every single day. Speaking of corn tortillas, you're like, how do I jam a corn tortilla into that yellow container? You don't have to. If it's something that doesn't fit nicely into the container, we tell you what it equals. So two small six inch corn tortillas is equal to one yellow. So again, if it doesn't fit in the containers, you still have the knowledge of what it equates to. 
The other awesome thing about the meal plan is that we have free foods, things like lemons and limes, ginger and garlic, seasonings and mustard and vinegar, herbs. Those are all free foods and they make your food taste wonderful. Look at the list, use it, reference it. Nobody wants to eat bland food all the time. So flavor it up with those free foods. They make it delicious. The other thing we have is the water bar listed in the book. What that is, is just different ideas of how you can spice up your water a little bit. So you can add fruit to your water or you can add um, vegetables like cucumber. It gives it just that nice spa flavor. For people who don't like drinking water, yes, there are some of you guys out there, it's a little bit easier way to get your water in. Now that you know the nitty gritty of how to use the containers, let's just go back. Let me just show you what a normal size salad should look like. I promise it's gonna be more than enough. So I've got spinach here. I'm actually gonna use one and a half green containers. So I've got spinach and broccoli, because there is broccoli in there as well. Chicken, chicken, okay. Pasta, which is in there as well, okay. Avocado, I love avocado. So I'm gonna put one full blue of avocado in there. And last but not least, our salad dressing. And I'm just gonna get this in this little drizzle. This is what your salad should look like. Now, let me just show you something. I know you don't think this is gonna fill this up, but it is. I'm gonna do this rather quick and sloppy, but this is what the restaurant calls one serving. Why does one serving fit in a bowl that you would put out family style? This family size serving or this single size serving. That was the basis for me creating the portion control color coded containers so that you really can see the difference and not overeat because you absolutely can overeat on healthy food as well. So again, let's just go back. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do our quick little calculation. Then we're gonna take that calorie bracket, we're gonna look and see how many times a day we get to use these containers. Once we know that, we're gonna start putting our delicious meals together. We're gonna use our free foods to flavor them up. We're gonna make sure we get our water in by using that water bar if you need it and adding either fruit or veggies or whatever you'd like into your water. And then you're going to tally it. Now, the other cool thing you can do if you're not wanting to use the tally sheets in the book, you're gonna download the 21 Day Fix tracker app, you can mark off really quickly what you've had. So if you have eggs, one protein with spinach, one vegetable, and some oatmeal, and it tells you how many you have left to go in the day. So either way, you've got a lot of great ways to track it if you're eating out or if you're eating at home. Now that we've covered Containers 101, be sure to check out the foundational videos on meal prepping so you can get some more ideas on how to incorporate them into your daily life here on Beachbody On Demand.